Hi, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can add a FAQ section in your blogger website and add a FAQ schema in your website to boost your search engine visibility. So if I search FAQ schema and if I scroll down here as you can see that there is this FAQ section showing up here and user can easily click on here and read these question and answers. So you can display something like this using the FAQ schema. But here note that FAQ schema doesn't guarantee that this FAQ rich result will show in search result because it shows in top ranking pages and it sometimes shows and it sometimes doesn't show this FAQ section like this. So if I click on here mark of FAQ with structured data. So if I scroll down here as you can see that this is the FAQ schema structure like this. So here you have to add the questions and answer here and here you have to add the second questions and you have to add the answer here but don't worry you, you can use any online tool to generate the FAQ schema for you so I will guide you everything in this video so watch this video till the end and make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel so let's go to the blogger dashboard and let's add a FAQ section here so what I can do is just click on new post here and I will add the FAQ code here. So here as you can see that this is the CSS code for the FAQ block and we have wrapped this CSS code with style tag and there is the div section here like this. So you can show FAQ section like this. So let me just copy whole code from here and let me just paste it here and I can name it like FAQ like this and let me just edit this question from here so i can add the question here and i will add the answers in the p tag and this is the accordion line 2 so i can add the second question here and i will add the answer here so if you want to add faq sections then you can find similar questions in google search suppose i want to write a topic on keyword research so what i can do is simply search for keyword research and let me just scroll down and as you can see that here you will see this option people also ask so here you can get different ideas about faq sections because people often ask this type of questions so you can include those questions in your faq sections so once you change this question and answer here and let me just publish this page to show how it looks so let's view this page here and as you can see that this is the FAQ sections so this is the questions and this is the answer here and when I click on second question it will reveal the second answer here and in this way you can show this FAQ block here but here note that FAQ schema is not added in this page so we need to generate the FAQ schema and put it in this web page so let's add the FAQ schema in this page so for this what I can do is just simply search for FAQ schema generator and I can use any website here like technical SEO so let's click on fast result here and here I will click on the drop down menu and select the FAQ page here and I will copy the FAQ question one by one so let me just copy the question one here and I will paste the question in the question one section and then I will select the answer from here and I will paste it here now I will click on add question here and I will add the second question from here so let's copy from here and I will paste it here now let's copy this section here and let's add the answer so let me just do the same for the next two questions Okay, I have added all the question and answer in this field and as you can see that this tool generate the FAQ schema for you. So I can just simply click on the copy button here and I will go to the post here. So I will click on here and here in the HTML view, I have to add the FAQ schema. So let me just hit enter here and I will add the FAQ schema code like this. So this is the schema and this is the FAQ block. So this FAQ block will show to the users but this FAQ schema will only used by the search engines and it is not visible to the actual users. So search engine identify this FAQ schema in a page and show the rich result like this as I have mentioned in this beginning of this video. 
so you can show a rich result like this so once we have added the faq schema code let's update this page and let me just refresh this page and as you can see that there is no changes in the front end but we have added the faq schema so you can check if the faq schema is properly implemented or not using a tool like rich result test tool and here you will see this first result rich result test google search console so click on here and here you need to add the url here or you can also directly paste the schema code that you have copied from here so let's go the url method here and let's click on test url here and here as you can see that the faq schema is detected and if i click on here and here you can see that the faq questions and answer is added here and it is showing the green tick mark and you can also see the preview result here so let's click on here and here as you can see that the preview will looks like this so in this way you can display your own question and answer in search result so let's go to the website here and here you can modify certain things in this section so if you want to change this color then you can simply do that so let's click on inspect here and here as you can see that details.faq questions and here i can change the color so let me just change the color to something like this and let me just copy this code from here and let's go to the web page and let's search for that color code and here as you, as you can see that this is the color code here so i can just change the color code from here and let me just update this page now let me just replace this page here now let me just close this one and as you can see that the color is changed so here you can change this color using the inspect element and you can also increase the font size of this element let me just click on inspect again and this is the p tag here so by default it is taking the font size in your website and if you want to add a specific font size then you can mention it in your faq schema css code so let me just add a font size attribute here and let's add font size something like 22 pixel and as you can see that the font size is increased so you can specifically mention the font size in your css code and otherwise it will take the font size from your theme so let's close here so i hope you have understand how to add a faq sections and add a faq schema in your blogger website so in this way you can increase your search engine visibility and improve your click through rate or ctr and in this way you can generate more traffic to your website so if you have any doubt regarding this faq blog in your blogger website then do let me know in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next video